Hey, how you doing everybody? Biggs here and welcome to Biggs' Home Cooking. Today I'm going to be doing a chicken out on the Weber Performer and I'm going to be doing it rotisserie style. I just picked up uh, an accessory for it, the Cajun Bandit Rotisserie. Uh, I'm a little excited about this cook so uh, I hope you stay tuned and stick around. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so uh, let me get this brine going for this uh, rotisserie chicken I'm going to make up. Uh, I have two quarts of uh, water, and to that I'm going to add a half a cup of soy sauce. A third of a cup of kosher salt. quarter cup of light brown sugar one teaspoon of uh, coarse ground black pepper and to, to that I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of uh, grated onion two grated uh, cloves of garlic and a few crushed up bay leaves. And then I'm going to add probably about uh, two tablespoons of uh, Worcestershire sauce. All right. And we'll give that a stir to help dissolve the sugar and the salt a bit alright and to that I'm going to add my uh, my chicken I have a about four and a half pound uh, chicken here alright so I'm going to submerge this and we're going to let that go for about four hours. All right. Okay, I have my uh, chicken out of the brine, and uh, I'm going to attempt to truss it right now and get it ready for the uh, spit. All right, so it's going to put the string halfway underneath the chicken. Pull the strings up, make sure they're even. And then I'm going to come over these wings and I'm going to cross in front here. And I'm going to tuck this uh, skin down underneath here. And I'm going to pull that tight. I'm going to come around the front and pinch the uh, wings up against the breast. And I'm going to come underneath the uh, the breastbone underneath here by the tail. Sorry you can't see that right now but that's the way it is. And then I'm going to come around underneath the legs and I'm going to pull that tight Cinch it. I'm going to flip the bird over and tie it on the bottom side, and that's it. Cut off any excess, and there you have it. We have a nice truss bird that'll cook evenly on the spit. So let me get the spit on. I'm going to come through the uh, cavity of the tail end here and up through the neck. And I'm going to push the bird on. And then I'm going to put the other side on.
push that tight and then close the thumb screw. All right, and there you have it. It's all ready for the rotisserie. So let's go outside and uh, see how the coals are doing. All right. Okay, my coals are ready. Let's dump them on the uh, on the kettle. I got my baskets. And that baby's hot already, geez. Woo! That thing is screaming hot. Okay, oh, I'm going to spread the uh, coals apart. And I'll put my basket in between. My drip pan, I mean. Man, that was hot. Okay, and then uh, let me go get the uh, chicken and uh, we'll put it on the rotis and get this cook going. All right. Okay, so the, uh, the pit's up the temp. It's up about 375, so let's get this chicken on. I think that's the uh, top heavy side, so I'm going to put my uh, counterbalance up on top here. All right. And let's see how that runs now. Seems to be running freely. Uh, that counterbalance just uh, takes the stress off of the motor. All right. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to uh, you know base this about every uh, 15 minutes or so with uh, some soy sauce, and uh, you know probably should take anywhere from about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half. All right. We'll see you back out here. Okay guys, as you saw before, the, uh, this bird's done, so let me pull it off. Oh yeah, that's looking good, baby. That is one sweet looking bird. Alright, bringing it inside to let it rest, and we'll slice it up and eat. Okay, there she is, looking good. Let me uh, take this off the spit and get it on a cutting board. Okay, let me get this bad boy carved up. Okay, so uh, chicken's been resting, so let me uh, cut it up. Let me dissect this baby. It's one nice looking bird, I'll tell you that much. Let me cut these legs off here. Let 
There it is. Crack it at the joint. Look at that. That's just nice. Everything is good. There's one wing. That's a winner. You cut this thigh out. Ooh, that is hot. And as hot as can be. Mm. Oh. Look at that thigh. That thing is gorgeous. Alright, now let me take one of these breasts off. Okay, folks, there you have it. Let me plate this up here for everyone, and then we'll sit down at the table. Let me cut a couple of slices right here, though. This thing is so tender and juicy, it's unbelievable. Whew, it's so hot, too. That is just gorgeous. Let me take a little bite right here. Oh man. Loaded with flavor. Now this thing doesn't taste anything like Asian. Because I use soy sauce because it doesn't. It tastes more along the lines of like a Boston Market chicken. This is unbelievable. Everybody try it. That's all I can say. Alright, let me plate some up. Okay folks, here it is. I'm going to plate it up. Got the chicken, some white rice, and some string beans. And like I said before, this is nothing like Asian chicken. This is uh, somewhere along the lines of like Boston Market. It's very tender and juicy. It came out great. So uh, let's see. Oh my God. That is unbelievable. Full of flavor. Mm. So, my recommendation is give this one a try. All right? I'll see you guys on my next uh, video. Stay tuned. Take care.